purpose of this video will be to demonstrate how to digitize positions of electrodes on the head using the Polhemus Patriot digitizer and the EMSE locator software. This is done when the purpose of the EEG recording will be to integrate the surface measured potentials with an MRI or other structural image of the head. Measuring electrode positions with EMSE suite locator and the Patriot digitizer involves using a software program locator on the PC and a piece of hardware called the Patriot device external to the PC with a serial interface between the device and the PC. The input to the Patriot device is a set of sensors one of which is mounted rigidly to the head using this headband, another of which is mounted on a tripod relative to the head. It should be lower than the head and behind the head. Uh, you'll notice that there are axes on the Patriot transmitter here. Uh, X and Y, and the Z-axis is the vertical axis, negative up. So the head should be squarely in one hemisphere or one uh, octant of that transmitter's sphere of influence. So the, um, the head should be squarely between this V and above the, the Z0 axis, which is here. The third sensor is what we call a stylus. The stylus is another receiver like the one that is mounted on the head, but this receiver has a tip that can be used to point at the center of the electrode positions and then a button so that it can press a button to capture a data point. So assuming that the receiver is in a fixed position relative to the array of electrode positions, uh, this one moves with the head, accounts for any movement of the head. The transmitter to head distance and position can vary slightly during the measurement that lets the subject be free from using a bite bar or a, a headrest. Okay, to begin recording, we'll use the locator program. As a first step, turn the power on the Patriot digitizer before starting locator. There's a sys light on the front, and that sys light will tell us what the status of the device is. It should turn green when it's ready. It takes a few seconds, and now it's green. So I'll start the locator program. Locator comes up with some settings. The uh, settings are the ones that were used last. So we can just go through quickly and verify those. Digitizer type is Patriot. That's what we're using. Coordinate system, EMSE. Decimal point is the US style. COM port is number eight. I've set the COM port baud rate both in EMSE and in Windows at 38.4. Hemisphere of operation, I'll leave that at default X plus. Um, the sounds are on and the sequence file I have not yet selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a sequence file. In this case, we'll use the EMSE because we're digitizing an EMSE coordinates. I'm gonna use the EMSE BIOS 128 to match the cap that we're using. Say open. And now I need to tell the software that I have one receiver mounted on the subject. And that's the one that's on the headband. I have another receiver that is the stylus and that's implicit. So I'll say digitize electrodes and now the software gives me some instructions to mount the receiver on the subject which I have already done. So in this case it's referring to the receiver on the headband. So I'm going to click past this 
and it's telling me to place the transmitter in the subject. So I've already placed the transmitter behind the subject on a tripod, slightly below the head, so oriented so that the head is squarely within the V formed by the X and Y axes. NZ. Okay, so the software is telling me now to digitize the NZ position. So I'll take my stylus, point at NZ. LPA. And now it's telling me to digitize the LPA position. RPA. Same on the right. A1. Okay, now we're starting the electron measurement. So I'm going to put the tip of the stylus in the A1 electron holder. And just note that the, the tip is sharp, but it's not long enough to reach the scalp. So if I touch the top of the electron holder, I'm not touching the scalp. A2. A3. A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, A12, a13, A14, A15, A16, A17, A18, A19, A20, A21, A22, A23, A24, a25, A26, A27, A28, A29, A30, A31, A32, B1. So now I need to reorient myself so that I can see this side better. B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, B9, B10, B11, B12, B13, B14, B15, B16, B17, B18, B19, B20, B21, B22, B23, B24, B25, B26, B27, B28, B29, B30, B31, B32, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12, C13, C14, C15, C16, C17, C18, C19, C20, 
C21 C22 C23 C24 C25 C26 C27 C28 C29 C30 C31 C32 D1 D2 D3 D4 D5 D6 D7 D8 D9 D10 D11 D12 D13 D14 D15 D16 D17 D18 D19 D20 D21 D22 D23 D24 D25 D26 D27 D28 D29 D30 D31 D32 So at the end, you probably heard those two tones. And those two tones tell me that the digitizing is finished. So I can zoom in a little bit here, see the head shape uh, derived from the electrode positions. I can spin it around, get a good look at it, and see whether I see any problems. You can see the landmarks and the axes defined automatically. Uh, I can turn on the labels. It's a little hard to see unless you zoom in a bit more, but you can see now the, the labels for these sites are already incorporated in the measurement. So there's no uh, extra step. So I'm going to say accept. Uh, the software will ask if I want to digitize positions on the surface of the head, like the nose and the eyebrows. These are helpful in co-registering the electrode positions with MRI. I'm going to say no for now. And I'll say File, Save, Choose the ELP data file. Uh, and I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'll save it as File Semi 128 EMSE coordinates. So that coordinate file is a an XML file uh, and the XML is not really human readable but um, it can be converted easily in locator to another format so if I re-enter the locator program and I say well let's open the the data file that I saved earlier here it is and it's an ELP file and it has 128 electrodes. If I want to see it, I can just display it just like I did before. But I can also convert that to other formats. 